Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you turn on your post notifications. Um, I have Tata Lea with me today, Bebe. Hi. Um, and today is just honestly a random video. I wasn't going to vlog today. I kind of got the idea because one, she is sick, and it's, and as you guys can tell by the title of the video. Um, I wanted to film a like tips, tips and hacks or tips and advice, I guess you can say, of different things that you can do if your baby is sick. Um, I'm not sure if it's still RSV season, but uh, Catalea did have RSV during that time. So I just got some stuff that like helped her and right now she is sick again. I took her to the doctor. I think on Tuesday or Wednesday and she basically has an infant bronchitis called clupus um so again we had to <laughs> again we had to go back to our little sick routine that we had yes I'm talking about you <clears throat> and she also has a cough so I just wanted to share that with you for any new moms that are struggling and are just having a hard time seeing your baby sick with all that congestion and coughing so yeah let's get started so the first thing that um i have whether it's morning or night the first thing that i try to do is take Atalea a bath as you can see i'm going to need to buy a new one this is the johnson johnson's um soothing vapor bath um this is it basically smells like vicks i just put this in her bath water fill it up um I have some bubbles going on in there and as soon as like she starts playing in it and she's in it for like a good maybe two three minutes her mocos like everything like it just starts to come out so it's easy for me to just have her ingestion and her mocos that are stuck in her nose just come out yeah yeah baby i left it there for you okay love you that's happy so this is definitely my go-to to get all her mocos to come out so that way i'm not like digging or fighting in her nose and making her mad and more frustrated than she already is because she can't breathe so this is the first thing that i do um for sure when she's like congested so this is step one step two after i get her out the bath definitely is to get a sleeper the pjs with the footsies which i'm about to change her into right now because she already took a bath earlier when i change her into these i always rub um baby vix on her um and her feet always put that on there that way they can just go to sleep with that scent still going so um this is the one that i would use i don't use this anymore but this is the one that i would use it has 100 percent natural active ingredients and soothes and comforts for children under two year two years old ask a doctor um so yeah this is what i would rub on her chest and by the way just a disclaimer i'm not a doctor anything this is just stuff that i do to help my daughter feel better and if you want to do it to help your kid to see if it'll help them by all means go ahead um but yeah this is what i would put on her chest and her feet more for me or matthew um but now i recently just got this one it is by the brand little duck i believe it is 100 percent pure and natural essential oils i love essential oils i actually used to use essential oils for my acne when my acne was really really bad um it is the best and recently when i went to walmart this past week to get her stuff i saw this and it is so amazing um i don't know what scents are in here for kids i don't know if you can see that it says no sniffles little duck or roll on so that's the one thing that i do love about it i don't have to stick my finger in anything or whatever i just have to baby what you doing i just have to <laughs> roll it on her chest i just have to roll it on it's a little bolita it's easy for me just to roll it on her chest roll it on her feet and it's not as strong at the as the vix i mean it does still has that same aroma and scent but it's not as strong and that's what i love 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 and i think this one too if 
check the box don't quote me on it but it says that for this one you can roll a little bit under their nose i haven't done it to her yet but that's one thing that did caught my attention was like oh wow i can put it excuse you <laughs> i can put it under her nose to where she can actually smell it and breathe it opposed to just putting it on her chest and her feet <laughs> I guess like in the middle of the night if she's still coughing she's still not doing really good I move on to giving her um, cough and mucus syrup by the brand Wellamins this is for four months plus and it's also organic um, this is the brand Wellamins and this one you actually have to throw away after four months after it's open so once you've had it for four months throw it away um, but the first time I'm that the first time that I gave her this literally the first little bit that I had gave her she like instantly threw up all of her mucus like I'm not even kidding I gave it to her threw it right up so this has really worked for um Catalaya I love it it was just my first go-to because it it did say organic so I was like let me try that on her first um so that's really all that I use for like medication wise for her also i know sometimes part of her fevers that do come is because of her teeth that are coming in so i do use the highlands baby um oral pain relief this is the nighttime one they're just little teething tablets that dissolve literally they're super tiny as soon as you put them in the baby's mouth they dissolve they're this size i don't know if you can see that but they're super tiny so if she's still like really messy and I know it's because of her teeth and not because she's sick, I usually give her one of these and they also help her sleep. So those are really good. Yeah. If she's still um, sleep, like in her sleep, she's still very mocosa, she's not really breathing right. I don't add more of the Vicks just because I feel like it's too much going on for her. So I either use this little squeezer thing to get the mochas out. I like this one because you can open it and clean it inside. But mainly I go to the Nose Freedom. If you do not have a Nose Freedom, you definitely need to invest in one. I know a lot of people see it and like they see the picture of the mom sucking out the boogers and they're like, oh, that's so nasty. Honestly, it has this, it's not bad. It has this little stopper thing. So you don't actually inhale the mucus or any of the boogers. You're just sucking out the boogers opposed to this one where it just you squeeze it one time and it just sucks in the mocos at one little press. But this one you're constantly just inhaling so it's getting all those mocos out for a longer time opposed to just that one. The next thing that I also have in the room is the humidifier. It's just a regular Vicks humidifier. Let me see if I can show y'all. So this is the Vicks humidifier that I have. It is on a nightstand because it can be on wood. But you just turn it on. And then it'll start having the mist in here. But the little packets that you use for these, um, for that in particular, are these. These aren't medicated. It says right here, non-medicated. It basically just fills the room with the smell of the Vicks. Um, and it's easier instead of babies breathing in that cold air and stuff, it's better for them to breathe in the warm. And that's what the humidifier is. It's like warmness, air, moisturized air with the scent of the vapor vapor. And then last but not least, guys, during the day, um, I make her these sopas. Um, I got them at Walmart. They're like 94 cents. I have her eat this soup or I, I make her the Progresso soup. But whenever she was really sick with RSV, I actually made her the caldo de pollo. Um, because they said like the vessels of the chicken, of the drumstick, the bones of the drumstick chickens. Um, it holds some like type of vitamin or something and it, it's actually really good for the babies. 
so honestly during that time when she had rsv and i gave her that like within the next day she was almost if not 100 percent better i would say like 95 percent better she was breathing better she was like being back to her normal self and stuff like that but that is pretty much it you guys those are just the little things that i use oh and one last thing hold on and these the nose frida wipes this is to clean her mocos. These are also scented like um, the Vicks, but it has aloe vera, vitamin E, and chamomile. These are seriously a lifesaver, you guys. Like, instead of just using a regular wipey to wipe their nose, like, you're able to clean their nose with this, and it leaves that scent on their nose, and it's just easier for them to breathe and stuff. These are, like, a must-have. I just discovered these the last time I went to Walmart, and I have bought them for her because I was like, oh, girl. I don't need you being sick. I'm cleaning my clothes and that's going to be the last time. So, those are just my tips and tricks from mommy to mommy. Matthew's sick too. I need to make him some sopa. I'm going to show y'all what soup I'm going to make him. If you're a busy mom like me and don't have time to cook. Yes. You can have whatever you want, bubba. So, we have the Texas Fideo with ground beef. And tomato sauce? Oh, bitches. Baby. Oh, sorry. So this is what Matt and I are going to eat for dinner. Something fast and easy. Some fideo. And Matt is sick and eating um, <coughs> sour patches. Alrighty, you guys. So Babette is eating some progresso soup. I am eating pizza. <laughs> Babe is eating salad and some fideo. Cause they're sick and I'm not. So that is it for today's video. And we'll see you in our next one. And Bebe has a muscle hanging out of her nose. We'll see you in our next video. Right, babe?